Monty Sharma from VVox. First off, I have to say thank you so much for sponsoring this event. I could not have launched Game Breaker any better than this. This is phenomenal. I'm in VVox's booth. This is their home, and they've invited me in to Austin, Texas to launch this show. Sorry, you weren't up there. What would you say? He's got like half our booth. I really do have like half your booth. You have have a huge booth. You have like the largest booth, a 20 by 20, and they've literally given me half their booth to broadcast this show. Well, thank you. Uh, it's it's a pleasure. You know, it's uh, you you brought a lot to the industry. We can't wait to see where Green Breaker goes, and so we're we're happy to be part of it. Well, thank you. Tell for people who don't know what Vivox is, just give me a little rundown of what Vivox is. Vivox provides voice chat into games and virtual worlds. So we work with Eve Online, Sony Online. We do the Voice in Second Life. Announced yesterday, uh, EA's Command and Conquer 4. That is huge. That's you had two huge, huge announcements yesterday. I was going to get to those, but yeah. go ahead and. No, it's that's all I can talk so about. So Electronic I mean, Arts giddy. Command and Conquer 4. Yeah. You're you're implementing all the voice chat. I and, mean, and I'm a big CNC player. Oh, so, so you're, you're totally loving this. I, oh yeah, I mean, love the game. They have done some really cool stuff in CNC 4. So they're bringing in some of the RP elements. So, you know, as time goes on, your player actually gets some skills and you can develop and it's, it's a lot more fun. Very cool. How, how is voice going to, is this your first um, non-MMO game? It's our first RTS. We've done some first person shooters. There's a couple others that we'll be talking about soon. Uh, he's teasing, he's teasing us. Yeah. I want to be on Game Breaker again. <laughs> I need something else to talk about. <laughs> exactly. The, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the big thing is um, CNC4 has actually brought in a whole bunch of multiplayer elements. They've really tried to enhance that whole aspect of the game. Because, uh, you know, actually, uh, Peter Moore from EA Sports, mm-hmm. heard him speak recently. He was saying in the last year, the online gameplay has grown 311% for EA. Wow. They went from tens of thousands of online game sessions in a year to over a billion. Wow. So Those are huge numbers. Huge. 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 Like that's, that's really surprising. Those are huge numbers. So it's more than MMOs. It's everybody's coming to the realization that it's more fun to play with my friends. Um, it's, it's great to stay you know, in touch with them and to, uh, to do stuff together. And so that's been huge. And I think and this ties in really nicely because I think what we're finding more, especially in the MMO world, is that people still do a lot of pickup groups. It still happens a lot. But I think it's getting more and more that people really like to, I was just talking about this, keeping their core group and it's their yeah. friends. And it's it's the Facebook, the Facebook mentality, right? Mm-hmm. It's like the reason Facebook was brilliant was that I immediately had a hundred of my high school friends, my real life friends, and this thing. And those are the people that I communicate with and talk to. Right. Now, that leads into you guys made a huge announcement yesterday that caught wildfire. Everybody yeah. was giddy. It was amazing. We we knocked backwards by the interest. Of well, it. tell them what it is. Oh, uh, no, I I'll, think we should tease them a little. Uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we uh, we actually um, we built this thing called Web Voice uh, when I, in beta three four months ago, and we said, hey, websites you can hook up with our voice stuff, and our voice stuff's really cool, and that'd be great. And then we said wow, this is actually really cool. We can do stuff with this. And so one of our guys in particular, Dave Verratti, he went out and he said, look, I love Facebook. Use it all the time, but I'm tired of passing notes in the hallway to my friends. You know, I want to sit down in the cafeteria and talk to them. Right. And so it, his, his thing was he took it, integrated it into Facebook, and then as we started to see that, we were just totally blown away. So, so we, we, you know, the whole company got behind it, put in a big effort. And so uh, in beta right now, uh, closed beta opening up uh, very soon is our Facebook app. And so sitting on my Facebook page, I can pull up Facebook chat and say, I want these friends, I want to talk to them. And I just click on their names and it sends them a link and we can all, we're all talking together. And if there's a friend